shop to the supermarket to get me some ribs. Cheer, so dead. Guys, welcome, 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 guys. Welcome to another video, guys. And today, guys, I'm going to do some barbecue pork ribs here inside of the oven, guys. We're going to clean up my barbecue ribs. I'm going to show you how to prepare it from scratch, from start to finish. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm going to give you a closer look, guys, on all my ingredients I'm working with. As you can see right here, I got some fruit juice that I'm going to, be, that I'm going to add inside the sauce, some cayenne pepper, some parsley, some cumin, some onion powder, some garlic powder, some black pepper, some paprika, cinnamon, ginger, orange spice, some barbecue sauce, sugar, and mustard and salt. And these are all I need guys to prepare my nice, nice barbecue pork ribs guys. So I'm going to sit back, relax, and first, I'm going to turn it over like this. And I'm going to kind of clean it up, get rid of some of the fat, because you know whenever you're making pork ribs, you have certain fat on your ribs that cannot reduce. So it's good to get rid of that way you can get to season your meat the right way you can. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to get rid of this, um, this fat right here. I'm going to tear the fat off here. Like this. Sometimes you're lucky that you can tear one time and it come right off. But as I said, let's be patient and get it off. But you don't know in the kitchen is how you prepare food and put everything together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna size it up like this. Get rid of these these, these off. I want that nice, nice um you answer my my, my my food presentable. That's that's just me. As I said, my food, I always love my food presentation, guys. So you know that's all you need in Bradley Kitchen. And this piece, I won't throw it away now. We'll use it. Yeah, Sam, but i just going to put it aside for now. And yes, guys, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to seed my ribs first. The mustard. You don't have to use the mustard, but I use the mustard just to make that, that, that dressing, that rub stick on, 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 on the meat. You can put it on just like that, but I want it to just stick. So I use the mustard just to paint it like this. All over it. And I'll do it on both sides. Turn it over like this. Very simple and easy, guys. Very simple and easy. Just like that. And now what I'll do now guys, I'll make my jar rub for my ribs guys. First, got some right here, some cayenne pepper. Some cumin. Some ginger powder. Some cinnamon, some paprika, smoked paprika, some garlic powder, some dry parsley, some salt, some orange pepper seasoning. Some onion powder and some sugar and some black pepper. Then I mix it all in. This will make my nice, nice gyro, guys, for my ribs. As I said, guys, maybe you make a different one for me, but this is the one I like to make when I'm doing my ribs. Very simple and easy. So like that. Now what I will do now guys, I'll sprinkle it all over it like this. 
inside that. Get all over it, guys. Get it all over the ribs. All over the ribs, guys. All over. Very simple and easy. You can do it, you can just pat it down like this. Make sure you see it all over it. And turn it around. Get the other side. That's the reason why I get rid of that, that, that layer, that skin that you see I was removing before. So that way when you season the meat, the ribs it can go all over. And that gets go straight into the meat. Into a nice, nice, lovely ribs guys. So you get it all over. Let's try that. Let's try that guys. Now guys I'll add it into my baking tin. And because my baking tin is not big enough, what I have to do, I'm going to cut it in half just like this. Just let it fit inside that baking tin, guys. We it like this. Yeah, speed rock. So like this. I put my aluminum foil on it like this, guys. Then I place it in the oven. At least three to two to three hours. Depends on how fast is the oven, guys. If you have a good oven that can Cook your meat very fast, that'll be good. But I'm using a standard oven, so you're going to take a little time, guys. And now I put this in the oven, guys, at least for 23 hours. hours. Keep checking it. Yes, guys, and now I will make in my, my sauce for my barbecue ribs. This is some barbecue sauce. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a twist to this barbecue sauce. So, now I'm going to add this, the gyro rub that leave off the, the ribs that I used before. The gyro rub. Put it in just like that. As I said, just don't do a little bit different. Something different, give it a little bit different taste. And I'm using a fruit punch juice. You can see right here. To inside it like that. And about half a cup. Like that. Then I will add some mustard. Not too much. And it's going to be like a nice base for the ribs, guys. It's very, very nice. The fruit from juice is going to give that nice, nice, nice juicy flavor, guys. And the barbecue sauce, the mustard, the rest of, rest of season I put inside. Just give it more taste, a bit more kick. As I said, you're in Bradley's kitchen and I always want to be creative. I want, I want to do something different. And that's all about cooking, by being creative. So while the, the ribs in the oven, guys, when you reach, when you're almost done, I will take it out. Give it this nice glaze, put it back inside, and voila, you will see how it, it, come, it turns out, guys. So it's very, very simple. You can try it. Yes, guys, I you know I removed the ribs out the oven just to give it the glaze. And you can see now, guys, ribs almost cooked. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the barbecue sauce over it, the one that I made. make. So, I'm going to put the it like this brush. Give it a nice glaze from back to front. Then, I will add it back in the oven for the final touch. And this is how I make my nice ribs, guys. Very simple and easy. Look at it, guys. Looking very nice and lovely, guys. Put that sauce all over it, guys. Give it that nice sauce.
Yes, guys, all over it. All over it, guys. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna flip it over to the other side, just like this. Both side. I want both sides to have a nice juicy sauce, guys. Like that. Sauce over again. Just like that. And it's a very, very simple of way of doing your ribs. As I said, maybe you guys do your ribs different from this way, how I do it. But I'm showing you one way that I can do my ribs. I can do ribs many, many, many different ways, but I'm showing you a way that I, I make my ribs. And I'm sharing my recipe with you guys. So if you like, you can try it. I know most people want to do their ribs on a, on a grill, but if you don't have a grill, the oven will do. Let's put it on the oven, guys. They're good to go. Yes, guys. Simple and easy. And what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to put it back in the oven and you will, you will see it when it's done. Yes, everyone. The ribs is done. So I take it right out of the oven. Look at it, guys. Look at that lovely ribs, guys. Look at it. And that's going to do a nice rib inside the oven, guys. Very simple and easy. And that's how you do a nice, 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 nice barbecue ribs. With a little bit of bloody twist to it. And thank you guys for watching. To like, share, and subscribe guys. And I'm out. My nice, nice smoke barbecue ribs.